Hi guys, welcome to my video where I apply facts and reality to claims made in the context of Islam and Islam apologetics. Now recently, when a Muslim could not answer a question, he referred me to a group on Facebook called Ask a Muslim, where I would get an answer for sure. So I applied, I got accepted, and then politely asked, Muslims believe they are created by a creator slash God. My simple question is, how? I.e. what is A. the process and B. what materials are being used here? And that's all. A very short, easy and clear question. So I thought. What ensued is that this was sidestepped using platitudes, like through the power of Allah and mud and but then it was quickly taken offline to Facebook Messenger so that the exchange would not be public on their page and the embarrassing answers by the Muslim not be available for everyone to see and comment on. It seems that for these Muslims, my totally innocuous question turns out to be a tough one to answer for some unknown reason. In this, well, let's call it discussion, you can see the desperate attempts to sidestep the actual question, where I am blamed, where in the end it is entirely my fault. And instead of answering a question I ask of a Muslim, which, by the way, they are commanded in their Quran to do so, and in the best possible manner on top of it, they simply fold and run, trying to insult me at the same time. So asking a Muslim a question to better understand Islam is a waste of time for this Muslim group. But then what is the point of having a group of Muslims calling this group Ask a Muslim and running away when a question is being asked? The only thing they seem to focus on is begging for money on all social platforms. And here they even have a presence, and this is quite sad actually, on this campus spreading propaganda and misconceptions while pretending to be the good ones. And this is what their so-called constitution looks like, where they claim they show a good example of a Muslim's demeanor and to show a good example of Islam through good actions required of a Muslim. What? That is not, not exactly what they do, is it? This is, this is sick. This is hypocritical. It is wrong. They simply rely on the intellectual laziness of others who don't bother checking the claims made here. Anyway, after dancing around my question for a while, it has the usual ending we are so accustomed to. The only reaction by Muslim apologists we usually get. Attack the person and run away to hide. Block whoever is asking in the process. Remove the question to avoid all embarrassment and pretend nothing happened. <laughs> it's so silly and so revealing at the same time. And let's face it, Islam apologists have no answers. They are lost in their thousand-year-old apologetics, the way it is described in their old and badly written book, the Quran, and are unable to catch up with the reality of the 21st century. So this entire group, Ask a Muslim, is just a joke. It's a total fail. They're useless. But could God have written this in a way that it is clear as well as correct? Yeah, sure, I think, if it were a God. All right, that's all from me today. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe. See you next time. Bye.